Do you like puzzles? If yes, I have a puzzle for you here. Can you arrange these tiles? You have some tile pieces here. Can you arrange them in such a way that they form a rectangle? So please, why don't you give it a try? You must have tried and I hope if you love puzzling, you can easily do this. Let me do this in front of you. Great, you can see that we have arranged all the tiles in such a way that they have formed a rectangle. Can we arrange them in, uh, in any other order? Or the order that you have made this rectangle may be different from the one I have. You may be having a different arrangement of tiles. Let me show how we can have a different sort of arrangement and having the same tile from making the rectangle we have. Like this, you can see that we have used the same tile pieces and we have arranged them in different order but they are making the same rectangle we previously made. And there is one more arrangement possible and I would like to show you that arrangement as well. Let's see what that arrangement could be. Here we have made a, another rectangle using the same tiles we used for the previous rectangles. And you can see that the arrangement of tile is again the different from the previous ones. So this is like a puzzle. You can use different tiles and you can make rectangles. Do you know what exactly we are doing? You cannot imagine that we are actually learning the factorization of polynomials. Well, it is quite complicated topic for the students, but if we use these tiles and if you play this game like a puzzle, so it will be the piece of cake for you. So let's start the video and do some factorization using the algebraic tiles we have. We are taking our first polynomial which is x squared plus 4x plus 4. Before we start doing factoring polynomial, if you don't know what are algebra tiles, so please watch my other video by clicking here. So for the polynomials, we need to take one square tile. So this, this is our positive square tile. We need to take four x tiles. This is one, two, three, and four. And we need to take four one tiles. So again, taking the four one tiles. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So we have modeled our polynomial which was x squared plus 4x plus 4. So now if we want to find the factor of the polynomial we have, so we have to arrange its model in such a way that the tiles or pieces we have uh, should be forming a rectangle. Right? So let's do this. You can see that we have arranged our tiles we have according to the model of the polynomials we have and we have arranged them in a rectangular form. Now if you look at if I ask you what is the area of this rectangle you can easily say that by reading the tiles you have. You have one square tiles x square tiles you have four x tiles and you have four tiles. So the area of this rectangle should be x squared plus 4x plus 4 which is our polynomial. And if you look at its sides, so what are its length and width? Well, if you look at this and you know this side of this square is x and this side of this square is 1 and this side of this square is also 1 right if you know what are algebraic tiles you can easily understand this so ultimately this side totally equals x plus 2 so this side is x plus 2 and if you look at this side so this side is also x plus 2 so we can say that we can factor our polynomial x squared plus 4x plus 4 as x plus 2 into x plus 2 because we know that if we have any number we can factor it by in converting that in rectangular form by using the length and width we can easily find its area let me show you with numbers for example if we have 12 so we can make this rectangle the length or the height of this rectangle is 1 and the width of this rectangle is 12 
that means the factor of 12 could be 1 and 12 and you can also break them like if you, you can also do this by selecting the 6 and place it right here so again this is another rectangle using the same 12 tiles we had so now the sides here are 2 and 6 so the factor of 12 could also be 2 and 6 and similarly you can also do this right so if you if you again look at this so again you have same number of 12 tiles but if you look at its sides so the side of the rectangles are different you can see that this is 4 and this is 3 so again we have different product or uh, factors of the of 12 which are 3 and 4 so ultimately if we have anything and we convert that in rectangular form so by looking at its sides we can easily find its factor as we see 12 have different factors 1 and 2 2 and 6 and 3 and 4 so these are possible factor pair of 12 okay let's move on to our algebraic tiles right so according to this you have understood this the polynomial we had which was x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals x plus 2 into x plus 2 so we have easily factorized our polynomials now let's try another polynomial the next polynomial here we have is x squared plus 6x plus 5 so why don't you give it a try just model it and arrange the tiles you will have in a rectangular form. If you don't have algebraic tiles uh, in your hand, you can use the link that I am using. I have given the link in the description of this video. I would, I would request you please open that link and keep working with me in the video so that you can also learning with me. Right? So just pause this video, open that link and first try to factorize this polynomial on your own. Okay, I hope you have tried and you have easily factorized the polynomial. Let me do this. So, we need to take 1x squared tiles. So, this is 1x squared tiles. And then we need to take 6x tiles. I have taken 6x tiles. And then we need to take 5 1 tiles. So, I have taken all the tiles required according to the polynomial I had. Now the next step I have to arrange this rectangle in a polynomial in a rectangular form. So let's do this. So this is our first and if I arrange this tile right here. Great. You can see that we have arranged the pieces of tiles we had in a rectangular form. That means we have factorized our polynomial and we can easily look for this side of the rectangle we had to find its factor right so let's look at this so this side equals this is x 1 2 3 4 and 5 that means this is x plus 5 and this is x plus 1 so the factor of the polynomial should be x plus 5 into x plus 1 that's great this is a fun now you're not dealing with numbers but actually you are solving puzzles so why not we should try and some more examples in this video let's do this now let's try a polynomial with leading coefficient of 2 so here you have your polynomial 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 so again pause and try it yourself using the link i have given to you okay now it's time to check your answer let's do, see do this together First, we need to take 2x squared tiles. So, this is 1x squared and this is 2x squared. And then we need to take 3x tiles. So, this is 1, this is 2 and this is the third one. And then we need to take 1 egg, one tiles. So, here we have, we have modeled the polynomial. Now, let's arrange a, these tiles in a rectangular form. Great, we have arranged, we have successfully arranged our tiles in rectangular form. Now let's look at the side of these rectangles to find the factor of the polynomial. So this is x and this is another x. So this is 2x and plus 1. So this is 2x plus 1. And if you look at this side, this side is x plus 1. So the factor of the polynomial should be 2x plus 1 into x. 
so you can easily do multiple factorization using the simple puzzling method i hope you are enjoying working in this video and i hope you are also working with me right so let's try something with negative tiles or negative terms we have in polynomials let's give it a try okay the next task for you is that we have x squared minus 2x plus 1 so here make sure you you use a red tiles for the negative terms you have so pause and give it a try okay so let's first model the polynomial we need to take one x squared tile so we have taken this and then we need to take two x tiles two negative x tiles so this is x and this is negative x and this is the second negative x tile we have right then we need to take positive one tile so this is all we have and we can easily arrange them to find the factors of the polynomial so let me do this if i keep this right here and if i keep this right here so can i place a positive tile right here yes i can because both of these tiles which are connected to this tile are negative so negative times negative is also always a positive so that's why this is a right solution so we have made a rectangle and we have easily found the factors so what are the factors this is x minus 1 and this is x minus 1 so the factors are x minus 1 into x minus 1 so you can see this is now a piece of cake and fun learning math and doing the factorization which normally complicated for the students okay now let's discuss la one more last question in this video okay this is a quite trickier one but if you give it a try it is a piece of cake for you the question is that simply the polynomial you have is x squared minus 4 okay i hope you have tried and you must have stuck somewhere but if you know what are zero pair you can easily do this let's do this together now now we have x squared so we have taken one x squared and then we need to take four negative one tiles this is all we have and you can see that anyhow we cannot arrange them to make a rectangle we cannot make a rectangle uses uh, using these tiles anyhow so what we can do this so we can use a zero pair here and what are zero pairs let me discuss so whenever we have a positive tile along with a negative tile of same size together so they normally cancel out each other and they have the value of zero right so we can use the zero pair whenever we want because their value is always zero and do not change the value of the polynomial so like if we want this is also a zero pair we have this is a zero pair of x squared this is a zero pair of x and this is a zero pair of one right so we can use any one of these we want and multiple times we can use because all of these values are zero right so let's do uh, we re we require only this so removing the remaining ones and i was just explaining what are zero pairs to you right so we will require two zero pairs to convert these to a rectangular form like this so now if we have all of these you can see we can convert them let me show you so you can see that we have converted the polynomial in a in a rectangular form using the zero pairs and you actually if i look if i ask you how many tiles are there so you will say x squared minus four tiles are there which is our polynomial because these two will cancel out because of being a zero pair right so now you can look for the pattern what are the factors this vector is x plus 2 and this vector is x minus 2 so you can use these tiles positive tiles negative tiles to factorize any polynomial you have in front of you in the next video inshallah we will conclude this um, pattern to the number techniques that you normally learn in your school that how do you factorize using middle term make method using the identities method you can convert all of them using the algebraic tiles so stay tuned in the next video inshallah my next video on this will be uh, will be uh, will be sent to you soon thank you so much please do not i am now in the last of this video i am showing you another polynomial and here you have your challenge and you are supposed to solve this and let me know its factor in the comment of this video below and make sure you are you solving this using the tiles we had thank you so much